the sanctions here, and the Russian economy is in crisis, really, from the crushing barrage of Western measures. The ruble crashed to a record low. The Moscow Stock Exchange shuttered Monday and again today. Cena Chief Business Correspondent Christine Rome is here with really the impact. Yeah, this has been just a disaster for the Russian economy. Six days after that invasion of Ukraine, the ruble is worth less than a penny. At all-time low, the Russian Central Bank rushed in, jacked up interest rates to intervene and try to support the ruble. But look, the global power of that central bank has been choked off by Western sanctions. The EU and the Americans specifically targeting the central bank, walling it off, walling off its ability to use its foreign exchange reserves to protect its currency and finance this war. Catastrophe for the Russian stock market, the pain so deep for Russian companies, authorities won't even open the stock market for a second day in a row now. Meanwhile, U.S. exchanges halted stock trading for several Russian companies and for Russian citizens. It all means sky-high interest rates to borrow money and lines at the bank to withdraw their cash. The West has unleashed a financial war in response to Putin's tanks and rockets. Piece by piece, the U.S., the U.K., the E.U. and allies are walling off Russia's economy from the global economy. Nearly a trillion dollars worth of Russian assets have been frozen by sanctions. That's according to the French finance minister. A trillion dollars in a weekend. The consequence for Russia is clear. It's isolation. For everyone else, Putin's aggression feeds into the global inflation story. The top energy producer, Russia's energy, has not been sanctioned yet. But paying for shipments of its exports could be tricky. Some banks are unplugged from the global banking system, that SWIFT messaging service. We're going to hear more about that in the days ahead. And it's having an impact. Look, it is having an impact. Nick Robertson was saying people on the streets are feeling it, in some cases not using, being able to use their bank cards. Oligarchs feeling it too, right? The question is, is any of this enough to put enough pressure on Vladimir Putin to change his actions? You know, he went to this war knowing full well it would hurt his ruble, it would hurt his stock market, it would hurt his economy. He had tried to wall, them, wall himself off over the past eight years or so. He knew, though, there would be pain, and he invaded anyway. So what's in the mind of Vladimir Putin? We just don't know. Again, a lot of this has to do with what Russians do. How does it change their view of Vladimir Putin right. and the risks that they're willing to take? Christine Romans.